Hey guys, Kevin Flatline Manco going to show you how to do an install on a Sprinter uh, rear tire carrying system. Uh, inside the box, we've got the uh, the actual frame that goes on the door, the piece that mounts the tire to, uh, those things bolt together. Uh, you're going to have all the hardware needed, the studs to go in there, the nuts, the special key to do those um, tuner nuts so they actually fit inside of aftermarket wheels, post that goes in there for putting a lock on backer plates, gasket, and a ceiling plug for where it actually mounts into the door, all the hardware to mount up that, the frame and the tire, all the hardware needed for your hinges. You will need the 180 degree hinges. That's the ones with the holes. Uh, if you don't have those hinges, check out the website. Um, we've got some uh, on there for you painted black. You can get them custom painted to match uh, or rock the black ones. They'll kind of get covered up anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Yeah, first things first though, uh, you're gonna get, uh, check out your van. If you have, your van's locked. So depending on what kind of doors you have on the inside, if you got the, the full plastic half shells or even the full ones, um, once you take your plastic off, you'll have access back into this area here. Uh, if you have a van that has the um, like the partial ones, most cargo vans have it, uh, it'll look more like this, and you'll end up putting a, a cap in there. We'll show you how to do that in a sec, but um, depending on the doors, just pop your cart off. Then first things first, you're gonna get the provided template, get a Sharpie, this guy here. Uh, You'll get this thing lined up on the door. Kind of like that. And then get your mark in there. Then grab a drill and drill a hole. Cool, so drill your pilot hole. Uh, like I was showing on the blue van, uh, if you have uh, the, the cards that are smaller on the inside there, you're gonna wanna get a quarter inch drill bit that's full length, and you're gonna wanna drill all the way through. That just gives you a good <laughs> hole that's in line on this inside uh, to drill out. Then after you get your pilot hole, it's like step bit, and drill out to five eighths. The hole on the inside uh, is a 7 8 hole, and you'll end up using a cap like this to plug that off. It's just a, a bigger hole so that you can get a socket wrench in there and get the nut on, because it's pretty impossible to get your hand back behind in there. So this hole, step it is included in your kit. You're gonna drill this outside one to 5 8 This is the, uh, the aluminum piece that's got a shoulder that goes inside of that hole, so you're just clearancing it for that. So once you get your 5 8 uh, clearance hole drilled out here with the step bit, you're gonna wanna use a 25 64 drill bit. If you don't have that one, a 3 8 and just ream it a little bit, it'll be just fine. Uh, there's two layers of sheet metal in here. There's one that's back behind. You just need to clearance that out so that your bolt uh, actually slides through. This guy slides through. So after you get your holes all drilled up, uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this guy bolted together. Um, so what we're gonna do, you take these backer plates and your carriage bolts, the plate goes on the back side, and then the carriage bolt comes through from the back side, nut in a washer. So carriage bolts through on this guy. You're gonna want to put the stud on top. That's when you're picking your tire up and hanging it up on there. It, uh, it's easier to put in place so you're not holding the weight on the studs.
some pressure up on the carriage bolt from the back side. that on there uh, you'll notice these holes along the tube there so you'll want to measure um, from the back surface of your wheel the surface that'll touch on this to the front of your wheel how far out you want this to stick there's some adjustment this has got a hole for a pass-through lock you can do a padlock you can do a cable lock you don't have to run this if you're not worried about locking your wheel on there uh, no worries you don't have to run it if you are uh, and also just sticks through from the, the center cap on the inside of your wheel. After you get that all bolted up, you're gonna need to grab uh, this shoulder washer. Uh, it's a spacer that goes between the, the pad foot on the tire carrier. Also get your gasket. Press your gasket on there so then it gets layered up. Uh, over onto the van, get this thing pressed in that hole. It should be snug, uh, but the bolt is what's gonna keep it. Then, I'll show you how the hinge hardware goes. You got these two brackets. Uh, the figure eight looking one goes on the top. You'll see there's kind of that uh, uh, piece in the middle of the stock hinge that uh, they'll make these things fit. So it goes in this orientation. Kind of tough to see, but there's only one way that one fits. Uh, the one on the bottom has got a little bit of a chamfer on the edge. Uh, that's to show you which side goes down. The chamfer does go down on the bottom here. Uh, that's because the holes in this hinge are actually offset towards the top side. So uh, the holes in our brackets match that. That's how that one goes. You will need a second set of hands for this part because you've got to hold it uh, from the outside and on the inside. So let me grab somebody to hold this guy up. So there's one bolt in your hardware pack that's longer than the rest. Uh, put a washer on that. It makes it way easier if you put this bolt through uh, that uh, washer we already put it in there uh, just to get the rest of it all fine. Uh, so put that one in, then grab your brackets and your bolts and hinges. Uh, make sure the person holding it on the outside has the nuts in their pocket. Uh, close the line and hand tight. Then grab the tools. Cool. Then you're going to uh, grab the last nut you got, uh, wrench and Allen, and get this bolt uh, from the outside going. Depending on what tools you got, uh, it's easier to turn the Allen from the outside and hold it with the wrench, or if you got some flexible sockets or a short box wrench or something, it kind of just depends on uh, what tools you got. But the easiest way to do it is just to turn the Allen from the outside. So while you're tightening this guy, you're gonna see this gasket start to compress. You want to get it snug, but you don't want to over tighten that. That gasket's in there to help as you close, give a little bit of, uh, of absorption as you're slamming that door. Uh, so don't over tighten this guy, just get it snug so that it doesn't feel loose at all. Uh, right, once you get that one uh, snugged up, you want to close your door and just check the alignment of it. Make sure uh, that you like the way that it sits on there. Uh, the things I like to look at are this bar across the window and then looking at the side. Uh, the other thing you can check for is how uh, the bump stops 
come back and catch onto that. Uh, make sure that they're looking even, but really tire goes on and covers it up. You're not gonna see it anyway, so uh, we'll pop it back open, snug up the bolts on the hinges, and then we're ready to throw the tire on. Once you got the tire carrier mounted up on the door, or you could do it before if you want to, uh, the next thing we're going to get on there is these studs. Uh, you definitely want to Loctite these on. Uh, you can see how there's a smaller side. Uh, the bigger side, the smaller side, is what gets threaded into uh, the nuts on here. You definitely want to Loctite that side. Uh, there's a little Allen key on the end of that. Let's see how those guys go in. So in the hardware pack comes a conical seat locking lug nut and the uh, socket to mount those. Uh, if you're running aftermarket wheels, you're gonna have to have that because the lugs and the hole inside of there are really tight. Um, so we've got those for you. If you're running the stock wheels, you're gonna need to get a ball to conical seat adapter uh, so that those uh, don't mess up uh, your lugs in there. So check out the install guide. There's some specific information, the PDF, um, that will help explain the details of that. I know it's kind of a mouthful. So um, check out the PDF for more info. But um, once this thing is bolted up and it's all tight down, you're ready to go. Uh, the stud here helps get the tire aligned. Get it set on there. Lugs. Get them snugged up. Again, the lock, this hole sticks through. You can lock this guy off. If you don't want to run this, um, you can throw your caps back on over top of this if you don't want to run the, the locking stud. But besides that, once you get it bolted on, this thing is ready to go. So. Uh, hit us up at the customer service uh, email address on the website or give us a call if you have questions uh, about this before you purchase or when you're installing it. Um, we'll be happy, happy to help you guys uh, answer whatever questions you have. Um, explain some more process if you need or uh, if you get a unique situation, we're happy to, happy to chat through it with you. So uh, thanks for watching. Uh, we appreciate it.